Hi, this is Rob, aka Mountain Snow Flyer. I'm based in McKinley Park, Alaska, and I'd like to introduce you to the plane that I built, the North Wind. This is my entry for Ed at Experimental Airlines for the Snowbird Sketch Building Contest. Yay! The North Wind is based on a real plane called the Sea Wind. I took inspiration from that real plane as well as a scratch build of the Sea Wind I found on RC Groups. My design incorporates an arm and wing, but with an extra former so that the airfoil is thicker. The wing cord is 8 inches and the wingspan is 40 inches with two 20 inch sections of arm and wing. My design also incorporates a tubular fuselage but with a trapezoidal cross section. And you can see here how I tapered the nose. I also incorporated a second section of tubular fuselage. This one you can see is narrowed um, at the tail down to about one inch. I joined the two sections together by nesting the smaller tail fuselage into the main fuselage. You can see that the tail is reinforced with carbon fiber rods and that I built little wing skis out of foam board and 1 inch plywood and then covered with uh, packing tape to give it a nice smooth surface to glide on. I made the nose nice and long in order to counteract all that weight in the back and here you can see my hatch. I also left plenty of room in the nose so that I could set it up with FPV video gear if I'd like. Next are my takeoff and landings. They were really challenging, especially the landings, given the windy conditions, as you'll see. Ooh. Oh, there's one! <laughs> yeah. Nice! It's getting a little windy. I think that's why it's kind of hard for him to control. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gentle. Oh gosh. This is making me so tense. <laughs> yeah. I'm like. Uh huh. Or need to duck. Yay! Yay! It's a little shaky. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gusting. You can hear it in the trees. Oh, oh gosh. All right, let's bring it in. Wow. Yay! So on this last flight you can see I was really fighting with the wind and I decided that for the next flight in the wind I'll attach a gyro uh, to the aileron channel to the roll axis and I think that'll really help with controllability but I also can't wait to fly it on a nice calm day that'll be really fun 
Anyway, thanks for watching and enjoy. All right, that's enough.